my name is Lauren and if you're new here I'm new too. This is actually my first YouTube video and I wanted to do it on something I'm really passionate about which is aerial silks. I first started aerial circus whenever I first moved to Tennessee about three years ago and I was originally looking for aerial silks but I ended up finding a Lyra class so I decided to do that because I just wanted to be up in the air. I figured it would be very transferable. I'd gain flexibility, gain strength and I actually ended up really falling in love with Lyra and I actually have my own hoop at home now and a rig. I also did static trapeze for a few months. It's also called dance trapeze and it's basically almost the same thing as Lyra except it's a bar instead of a hoop and all the moves are very transferable and I absolutely love both of them. And then towards the end before I left that studio I started that, uh, the te my teacher brought in some silks and I started learning basic moves and everything on that and I got really comfortable climbing foot lock. The only issue is the ceilings weren't high enough to do anything more advanced than that so I was really stuck with the basics and whenever I started going to college which I just finished my first year I found out that they have an aerial silks program there and I was very happy about that so I went through the full beginners course and then I started the advanced course after the first six week session which was Hold up. So how the college program does it is they have it in six week sessions. So in one of those sessions, I completed the full beginners course. And then after that, I progressed on to the more advanced courses. That's where I did my first drops and I absolutely love it. I, it was everything I expected it to be and more. I was, I'm just in love. This is like my thing, I guess. <laughs> And now this upcoming fall, I'm gonna start teaching level one classes. And I am like stoked about it. I, this is what I've wanted to do. I've always wanted to teach it. Ever since I like learned about it, I was like, I could do that. So whenever people ask me questions about it, one of the first things that they ask me is, do you have to be strong and do you have to be flexible? And no, you don't. Uh, that is something you gain as you go. There are progressions into moves, there are progressions to gain strength and flexibility. It is absolutely something you gain as you go and it's at your own pace. If you want to maybe progress a little faster, maybe you're just not progressing as fast as you would like to go, pretty much every studio has a conditioning class that you can go to. I think these are very beneficial, especially if you want to progress faster. They work on strength, they work on flexibility, and it's pretty hardcore. And another like little tip that you can do to progress a little faster is to stretch and condition outside of class. There are tons of YouTube tutorials on getting your splits or becoming more flexible in anything you need to be more flexible in. I'm actually doing right now. I'm trying to get my splits. I am like a mile off the ground. That's not even an exaggeration. I literally am nowhere close. Like my front leg's bent, my back leg's bent. It is not pretty. But that's something I'm doing personally. And another thing that I've done personally was I've attended yoga classes and I think they're really helpful. Right now it's probably not really feasible because of Corona. The studios start opening back up. If you can safely do it, I would do it. YouTube yoga tutorials that you can do. And yoga really helps with strength and flexibility. It's kind of got both of those factors in there. And while this is all really helpful, it's really important to utilize your rest days. Make sure you have plenty of recovery days between classes, between the extra work you put in. You wanna give your muscles time to recover. So where can you go to do aerial silks? Um, the first thing I did whenever I got here to Tennessee was I started Googling different studios, different aerial silks near me, whatever. And I was lucky enough to find something near me, which was Lyra. But I know that whenever I Googled and I couldn't find silks, I saw that the nearest silk studios that I could find was in Nashville, which is like an hour away from me. If it's something like that, one thing you can do is you can follow the studios on social media, like their pages, and look out for demo classes, drop-in classes, even traveling workshops, which a lot of them bring beginner workshops, and those usually run for like a couple hours, so you get a lot of silk time to decide if you really like it and get a lot of time in the air on the silks. And it's really fun. A lot of studios also do private one-on-one -on -one sessions and those you can schedule for yourself. So maybe if you make it out there like once every couple weeks or something for at this certain time. The other thing is self-teaching and I don't really recommend that. I feel like even if you're Googling it, even if you're taking online courses, it's having someone there in person to teach you, you really can't substitute. I feel like you're limiting yourself when you're just using your own because since you are new, you just don't know the progressions. You don't know like what things lead to what and having a teacher there to show you and to properly progress you through things is really helpful to prevent injury, to prevent 
wrapping wrong. You could really hurt yourself if you're not careful. I'm editing right now and I just wanted to say I can't even count the amount of times I've fallen with the coach there. I just, when you're in the air, I guess things just don't translate. I literally, I wrapped, what did I wrap wrong? I'll put the drop in that I wrapped wrong the first time and I fell. <laughs> there was another one. I'm, so this next one that I'm about to show you, it's called a lotus drop, I think. And literally, I had my arm in the wrong position and it snapped and it like almost went backwards and like broke my elbow. It almost did. It didn't. But just because I had my arm in the wrong position. One thing you can do at home by yourself is to strength train, flexibility train. Strength and flexibility is something that you're going to use with whatever you do. If you try decide to do silks or any other apparatus, you need those two things. That is something you can absolutely do at home by yourself and it's really helpful to already have like a background or something to get started with. Okay, well that was my first video. I hope you guys find it helpful and you liked it. I hope it turns out okay. Editing sounds really scary and I'm not excited, kind of excited. Just like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. <laughs>